Hello. Thank you to America's National Churchill Museum at Westminster College for inviting me to speak at this historic event in honour of that great Anglo-American, Sir Winston Churchill. As we gather to celebrate the words Sir Winston delivered in Fulton, Missouri, 75 years ago today, we celebrate not just our shared Anglo-American history, but the ever-growing friendship and partnership between the United States and the United Kingdom. Recently, we saw a tangible demonstration of the close relationship between Winston Churchill and Franklin Delano Roosevelt with the auction of the Tower of Kutubia Mosque, Churchill's personal gift to Roosevelt after the Casablanca Conference. When Churchill first described the special relationship on 5th of March 1946, his words resonated on both sides of the Atlantic. At that time, the phrase described an alliance between the US and the UK, born of a global armed struggle for justice, freedom, and our shared values. Churchill and Roosevelt, though, did not just forge an unprecedented wartime alliance. They initiated a partnership in the post-1945 world order and on tackling new challenges as they arose. Today, our friendship improves the well-being of our peoples and the planet. It produces vital jobs. We are each other's biggest investor and share the world's largest bilateral foreign direct investment partnership. Our academic and research community produces groundbreaking inventions and technological innovations. Although the threats facing the world in 1946 differ from the shared challenges we face today, the special relationship endures. A new resolve among allies to come together and act again with unity and determination has reinvigorated our joint work with the US, France and Germany to address the most pressing security challenges we face. As in 1946, America and Europe side by side have the ability to prove once again the innate advantages of free nations. Free nations have democracy, they have the rule of law, free markets and open societies. UK and US bear a special responsibility to combat malign activity and demonstrate to the world the value of open and prosperous societies. As we unite to fight the common enemy of a global pandemic, the group of seven leaders agreed that our shared priority must be to build back better, build back greener, and to minimise the risk of it ever happening again. The Prime Minister will convene leaders later this year in collective defence against the next pathogen, just as we unite against military threats. The unprecedented threat we all face from climate change is one we can only tackle together. We therefore welcome America's return to the Paris Climate Agreement and look forward to working with the new administration to achieve our ambitious climate targets and build back greener. Winston Churchill's legacy and impact on the transatlantic relationship lives on through today's special relationship between the UK and the United States one that will only continue to build closer and stronger. I'm confident that we'll continue building on Churchill's legacy, finding shared successes as we tackle the challenges of the day and continue the growth of this closest of friendships. Thank you.